Hello, what is up guys? Evil Duo Sarm here today, back with another Black Desert video. Today's video will be taking a look at the most recent patch to Black Desert that released on July 28th of 2021, show you all of the cool event information so that you don't miss anything, as well as the major highlights of the patch itself. This patch brings us a ton of events, like a ton of them, so you're going to want to pay attention here and make sure to take advantage of them. And the super majority of these events are located here at the Termian Water Park event, so the Termian Night Market as it is marked on the map, this is where you need to go, up here. So relative to the city of Olvia, you're up and to the left of it, and relative to Calpheon, you are straight above Calpheon to the Termian Water Park area, the Termian Beach. And the first event quest is going to be picked up from the Festival Manager located at the entrance of the Termian Water Park. So this location right here on the map. Make a mental note of it. You need to go right here on the map. You got the beachhead. It kind of goes in over here. This is the guy you need to talk to to start off with. He's going to give you the quest event, how to enjoy the festival 200%, and you're going to play through this quest line. So you're just going to talk to various NPCs that the game is going to send you around to. You'll just path over to the next NPC and continue working your way through it. Super straightforward, each of these quests are going to reward you with contribution EXP. The final quest is going to give you an indoor decoration for your house, a little black spirit jumping up and down on the diving board located at the Termian Water Park. One of these quests is going to make you look down from the diving board. To do it, you need to do it from the interaction button that starts underneath the tent over here. You're going to have two. You're going to have like a press R over here for diving board, and you're going to have a press R for diving over here, like underneath the tent. Click this one. Don't jump into the water and be an idiot like I was. And completing this quest line is going to open up access to the rest of the Termian Water Park events. So like I said, you get the indoor decoration, and now we can actually get started with the other crap. First things first, you're going to notice that there are numerous vendors in this first location of the water park. So as you walk around this first little area here, you're going to see all sorts of different vendors and little shacks. So we got a market person right here. There's a market person on the other side of the door over there. There's another market person up over there that I walked by. You get the idea. There's all sorts of night market vendors that are located in this little region here. These vendors all sell various items, so there's a food buff vendor. The food buff vendor sells the following food buffs that you see right here. Item drop rate plus 30% is a pretty cool one. Item drop rate plus 50% if you want to spend a bit more money. Things to keep an eye on here if you're a big grinder. You then have a vendor that sells these items. And we can see that they are Advice of Valks, Black Spirit Die, Memory Fragments, and Kaffir Stones. Do note that the two boxes are not super well tuned to the NA marketplace if you're looking for profit. You kind of need to max roll them if you are a free to play player without a value pack. And if you have a value pack, you can get a little bit less than a max roll on both of these and still make money. Um, otherwise, not super, uh, super worth buying. Talking about the meme fragments and Kaffir stone boxes. The next vendor on the list sells various food buffs as well. This one has the elusive life skill mastery buff that is pretty hard to find. So. Pretty nice pickup there. These do expire at the end of the event period, though, so you do have to use them or lose them. And the last vendor sells a bunch of different buffs that you can use for your character. So you got some combat EXP buffs, various life skill buffs, various all sorts of other buffs here. You've seen these potions before if you've been playing the game. These are just enhanced versions of them. You also have these pineapple boxes that provide you skill EXP and combat EXP, so pretty nice there. And there's another item, the spirits and pineapple, which is used in a later event, so we'll cover that in a bit. And that's basically the idea behind these vendors. So a bunch of crap, check them out, see if there's anything you want to buy. A lot of this stuff is once per day, so make sure to stockpile them up and use them before the event ends if you choose to. All right, that's the easy stuff with this event out of the way. Now we're going to get into the hard stuff. There are about 1.4 million quests that you can complete during this event period for 45,000 different currencies. These currencies can then all be used to redeem 436.3 different rewards, and I'm going to try and help you sort through all of them. So... Yeah, there's a lot of this, and you can get a bikini or some swim trunks at the end, so worth. First things first, make sure you have all quests enabled by pressing the O key on the keyboard and selecting the All button. That way you can see all these quests hanging out over here. We're going to be starting from the front door to this location, so where you should have just left off with the last quest series, right here on the map. And then one more thing before we go through here, you want to make sure to have as few quests accepted as you possibly can. Obviously, there's some stuff you can't get rid of but try to open up as much space as you can so we can just rock and roll here. But starting from that front door, we're going to hug the right wall, and in one of these little locations, you should see an NPC laying on the ground. Here it is. It's Chi-Chi, so it's a little bit of the ways down the tent, so go ahead and accept this quest first. Continuing further down, hugging along this right wall, we are going to loop all the way down and around until we get to this little place right here. We have the Skewer Shop server. Accept this quest line. Continue to loop around, and you will see another NPC, Licka, right here. Go ahead and accept this quest. 
loop back up in this direction and you're going to see another quest dead ahead in front of you so go ahead and accept this quest right here from the beverage shop person continuing up from them we're going to loop up around this little tree section and back down after i get done getting caught on the lights and you're going to see lara's quest continuing back down in this direction and jumping on up over here you're going to see an npc right here the server go ahead and accept this quest move a little bit further down still and you're going to see another server accept this quest continue straight on down off and into the distance here and you will see a sort of platform so head on out to the platform and jump on up and over here you're going to see a quest to accept so take this one walk along the docks up and over here to the left right I don't know my directions real quick to the right that's the direction we're heading and around the corner you're going to see this person standing right here so go ahead and talk to him and take his quest he will have two of them that you can take Continue back along the dock, and you are going to see this NPC Palong down here. They have two quests that you can accept. Further along the shoreline over here, and you're going to see an NPC buy some cannons. Go ahead and take this quest from Rose. Continue further up in this general direction, and you're going to see two more quests that you can pick up. So we got one over here. Head on over to the left over here, and we'll have another quest. And if you go back to the docks, there is one more quest that I forgot, so I apologize, I missed it, and uh, we're just going to have to go in this general direction to show you it, because it's hard to find, as it's going to be hidden by about 4.4 billion tents. Uh, let's go ahead and talk to this NPC, Naruna, who's hiding underneath a tent to accept another quest. And I think that's good for a first pass, let's start working through all of these ones now. First one is super easy, all you got to do is buy some yogurt from the Terminate Night Market vendor, Daniel. So this one is located down here on the map almost all the way at the end of the location here go ahead and talk to him click on a shop and buy a yogurt for 100,000 silver we're going to walk around the corner with that yogurt and bring it over to the npc laura who we saw on the other side of this little location right here she's up at the end just got to make our way down over to her right here turn that quest in the next quest we're going to do you need to sneak up on a raccoon by pressing the q key on the keyboard to crouch and then when you've crouched, you can kind of walk up on the raccoon while it's like laying here playing and interact with it. So this is a tricky one. You need to press the Q key to crouch and complete this quest line. So these raccoons are located throughout the Termian Water Park area. And once you've caught one, you just bring it back to that NPC we met a second ago, the Naruna one that's hidden by all the tents to complete that quest line and get a coin. Once we've got the coin, we can head on down to the docks. And one of the quests that's available at the docks is the Termian Shooting Range. Go ahead and click on this to interact with it. Take that coin that we just picked up, and you'll be given a matchlock. Then go ahead into your inventory and equip the matchlock. And for this, all you got to do is press the right-click button to reload it, and then left-click to shoot it. And that will complete the quest. Take off the matchlock by putting your main weapon back on, and hold on to this. You'll be able to use it for 10 days throughout the event, so don't get rid of it. After you've completed that, we can talk to this dude right here to complete the quest, and move on to the next portion. Next quest we're going to do is the Handout Flyers quest line where you need to talk to some random NPCs throughout. So we're at the market vendor Daniel that we were at a second ago. Over to his left, you're going to find a dwarf. Go ahead and talk to him, interact with him, and it'll complete part of the quest. Looking up in the direction of the actual locations, the vendors, whatever, if you make your way up in this area, and you go ahead and talk to him, and it'll say try some savory skewers, and that will complete the quest. So to complete that one, we'll just head on back down to the skewer stand person right here. And complete the quest all right next up we're going to do the chi chi throwing event so we're going to go back to that person that was laying down on the ground go ahead and talk to them click on the chat option exchange termian fruit now that we have the termian fruit go ahead and equip that stupid thing onto your character and you have to go find the golden snitches that are flying around in the termian water park area there's one right there and you have to kind of get into a good range of one and actually hit it instead of missing it like i did so this is the most challenging portion of this whole thing the nice thing is, is it doesn't count against you if you keep missing it, so eventually you'll hit it and get it. Like, the durability doesn't go down until you actually make a connection with it. So right there I got the connection, and now it dropped to 9 out of 10. So that completes that quest. Once again, hold on to that item because you'll be able to use it to complete this quest over the next 10 days. Just go ahead and head on back over to Chi Chi to complete the quest. Next up we're going to do the one where you have to be a server for the day. For me, it's the NPC sitting in this chair. Just go ahead and find the NPC in this location right here, the bar. That is the one you need to talk to to complete the quest. Go ahead and chat with them. That'll partially complete the quest. You then need to pay attention to what they said because I'm dumb and have no idea what they asked for, so we're going to guess coconut juice. How about pineapple juice? Yeah, that's what they wanted. I knew it. Um, anyway, so pretty easy to complete the quest uh, that time. 
back out to the docks this time. We're going to go ahead and jump off of the dock and head in this direction overall out into the water. We're looking for this icon on the map right here. Put a fire on the Termian Beach Tower. So you can see it's starting to fade into the map right now. It's up here. It's on this rock that's like dead ahead. And when you arrive on this rock, just go ahead and press the R button to interact with it. Accept the next quest that pops up right now. And then you're going to see a ship dive under the water. And you just need to dive under the water where the ship dove under the water. And down here, you're going to see a whole bunch of different quest items that you can accept. So we're just going to go ahead and grab the first growling box and avoid the shark. Tee hee hee. That'll complete that portion of the quest. And the final completion requires us to head back to the beach, so I'm going to swim my way back over. And this quest will be completed with Captain Mowgli. Just go ahead and talk to him to complete the quest. He has a second quest that requires you to gather 10 logs. This is another event quest that you can do. It's going to require a cutting axe or to just go ahead and buy them off the marketplace to turn them in. But they don't necessarily award event currency. It awards bartering items, so if you're a barterer, it's definitely something to take advantage of. But if you're strictly here for the event and the bathing suit, you don't necessarily need to do that quest, and I sure as heck am not going to go running around for that. Before we leave the docks here, there's one more quest to do with Pelong. So if you wanted to complete this quest from Pelong, what you need to do is catch a Mudskipper. Mudskipper is a fish, it's an RNG chance to catch the fish, and uh, yeah, so there is an AFK fishing event going on that we're going to get to, but basically you'll leave your character AFK fishing overnight over there, then whenever you catch a Mudskipper, bring it over to Pelong, and then you can turn it in and, you know complete that quest. I'm not going to sit here forever trying to catch a fish. Just know that you want to do this one because it does award you with a Termian Coral coin and we'll show you what you can buy with those after here in a minute. But yeah, definitely something to keep your eye out for. One of the quests we picked up along the way involves talking to this NPC Lucia over here. She's located by the jumping portion where you can jump off the cliff and into the water. Go ahead and talk to her and you'll get the quest objective completed for 10 Ancient Spirit Dust. So free 10 Ancient Spirit Dust you can pick up right there. Next up, we're going to do the coconut quest where we need to get a coconut, and this is pretty easy. Go back to the bar that we've frequented a few times here, talk to the server to the right, click on the chat option, and borrow a coconut from her. Walk back around the corner, up and over here through this little opening, and talk to this NPC to complete the quest and get a coin. We're going to attend, take this coral coin and run diagonally straight across over in this general direction. Um, through the tents and everything across the water over to this NPC Rose right here. First thing you need to do is rent a cannon from her and the second thing you need to do is rent some cannon balls. You're then gonna navigate over to the beachhead like right around here-ish. Open up your inventory and click on the cannon in it. This is gonna install a coconut cannon. You're then gonna press the F5 key on the keyboard to open up your inventory and deposit the coconuts into the coconut cannon. Go ahead and mount use that cannon, and you now need to aim the sucker such that you will hit the target. So that's And yeah, if you don't suck at Black Desert like me, hopefully you hit one of those targets. And if you do, you'll complete the quest from this NPC. But unfortunately, I'm out of these coins, and I'm not doing the fishing quest. And uh, yeah, so I don't get to complete this quest. But this will give you the sixth of the ocean blue orbs that you can get per day. 30 of these you exchange for the bathing suit. 30 of them also exchange for an indoor house decoration. 10 of them are exchanged for various outfit pieces, including a diving mask, and 20 are exchanged for a Shikatu's box. Once again, you can get six of those per day by completing all these stupid quests that we have run through here. Just to go ahead and show you those rewards for sure, 30 blue orbs to the MCC Pio. We already picked up the quest from him to exchange these. You'll get the bathing suit option, 30 of them to get the Golden Sunset Dreams indoor decoration, 10 for the various outfit items, and 20 for a Shikatu's box, like I just said. Now these Termian coins that we've gone ahead and picked up from these other quests can be used for various things. So in addition to being used for the exchange items that we used earlier, you can also exchange them for a hammer, for some juice, and yeah, that's pretty much it. So you don't necessarily need to do all of these quests every single day, but um, do make sure you have enough Termian coins to be able to exchange for the items that you want to use to get the real stuff from the event. Hopefully that makes sense. Now, as I did mention before, there is also an AFK fishing event going on. It is the Koi fishing event, the one that everybody loves so, so, so much. Um, all you gotta do is AFK fish in the Termian Beach at this little wispy location right here, and you will pick up various fish that you can sell. So pretty cool little AFK moneymaker. Lots of people love the AFK fishing event. And I do believe we've gone through all of the important quests along in this little chain. Next two events are screenshot contests. So take screenshots, upload them to the various sections that are located 
in the forum posts that are on these events, and you can be entered for a chance to win prizes pretty straightforward. And with that, we've completed the events and can move on to the patch notes themselves. Holy cow, it only took 15 friggin' minutes. So typical character tweaking, we have more Corsair beta testing that you guys have been partaking in. So once again, thank you for your support in uh, figuring out how this class actually works. Couple changes to some different items, nothing too crazy going on there. The open world PvP zone got some modifications to the sort of wannabe PvE content inside of it. And then we have some big, actually like meaningful changes to the game. You can now move non-stackable items in groups of 20. So you don't have to click in your inventory a billion times to move stuff around, which is fantastic. This also applies to storage maids and butlers as well. So yeah, that is like friggin' awesome. So awesome thing to keep track of. You can now add an additional 10 cooldown slot skills to add to your UI, which is also another neat feature for those of you that like the custom UIs in the game. If you don't know how to do that, if you press the K key on the keyboard, you'll see a skill cooldown slot. You can then configure these on your screen using the edit UI feature. So you can add those cooldowns one through 20 anywhere on your screen and have them showing. So you'll know when your skills are off cooldown. Neat little feature. I have a separate video going over this and how to use it. And honestly, guys, that's pretty much it as far as actual super important information that you want to take advantage of goes in this patch. Big thing is this Termian Water Park event. Everybody loves it. Everybody loves the AFK fishing and the opportunity to get that bathing suit. So make sure you take advantage of this event. It comes around one time per year, so this will be your only chance to get it for quite some time. If this video is going to help you here in Black Desert, do let me know in the comment section below. Also, once again, if you're not subscribed to the channel already, please consider it. Helps to grow my channel. Would greatly appreciate the support. Anyway, guys, I will see you at the next live stream over on Twitch, the next YouTube video right here, or wherever I happen to see you. Peace.